Prince William's emotional tribute to Princess Kate and her ancestral legacy at the D-Day anniversary event. In a poignant and heartfelt moment, Prince William updated the public on the health of his wife, the Princess of Wales, and reflected on her family's remarkable contributions to history. As he participated in a D-Day anniversary event in Portsmouth, the Prince expressed how deeply Kate, the Princess of Wales, would have loved to attend if not for her ongoing health challenges. This event not only marked a significant historical commemoration, but also highlighted the personal connections and stories of sacrifice and service that continue to shape the lives of the royal family. The Prince of Wales, now 41, joined King Charles and Queen Camilla at the commemorative event, which was filled with emotional and historical significance. Prince William's speech was a tribute to the bravery and sacrifices of the veterans and servicemen who played pivotal roles during D-Day. His words resonated deeply with those in attendance, including leading politicians and the many veterans present. Following his moving address, Prince William engaged with members of the public. Among them was a war hero who, showing his concern and support, asked about the well-being of Princess Kate, who is currently undergoing cancer treatment. In a touching exchange captured on social media, the prince reassured the veteran, stating, she is better, thanks. She would have loved to be here. This simple yet heartfelt comment encapsulated both the personal struggles the royal family faces and their deep connection to historical events and their participants. During his interactions, Prince William also shared stories about women who worked at Bletchley Park, the secret of wartime establishment where his wife's grandmother, Valerie Middleton, served as a codebreaker. Valerie Middleton, along with her twin sister Mary, was part of the elite team that decrypted the German Enigma machine, a feat that played a crucial role in the Allied victory during World War II. Reflecting on these connections, Prince William told those gathered, I was reminding everyone how her grandmother served at Bletchley, so she had quite a bit in common with some of the ladies here. This connection between past and present brought a personal dimension to the historical commemoration, illustrating how the legacies of those who served continue to impact the lives of their descendants. Valerie Middleton and her twin sister Mary's work at Bletchley Park was shrouded in secrecy. Working in Hut 16, they were among the team of codebreakers who deciphered the Enigma Code, which was pivotal in the Allies' strategic operations. Despite their monumental contributions, the nature of their work remained classified for many years. According to a report by Richard Eden in 2019, Valerie Middleton never spoke of her wartime efforts, even when asked by the young Princess of Wales. This vow of silence was common among Bletchley Park operatives, who were sworn to secrecy and carried the burden of their knowledge throughout their lives. She was so sworn to secrecy that she never felt able to tell us, Kate remarked, highlighting the profound sense of duty and confidentiality that characterized her grandmother's generation. Valerie and Mary's roles at Bletchley Park placed them at the heart of some of the most significant moments in wartime history. One of their most extraordinary experiences was being on duty when the message was intercepted announcing Japan's surrender. This meant that they were among the first few people to know that World War II was over, sharing this knowledge with figures such as King George VI and Prime Minister Winston Churchill. In 2016, Princess Kate paid tribute to her late grandmother, Valerie Middleton, who passed away in 2006. In a foreword for the GCHQ Puzzle Book, Kate expressed her pride and admiration for what Valerie and her colleagues achieved during the war. She wrote, They rarely talked about their wartime service, but we now know just how important the men and women of Bletchley Park were, as they tackled some of the hardest problems facing the country. Kate's tribute emphasized the intellectual legacy of Bletchley Park and its modern-day successor, GCHQ, which continues to value neurodiversity and mental well-being. In 2019, she further honored her grandmother by wearing a special codebreaker's poppy brooch during the wreath-laying service at the Cenotaph on Remembrance Sunday. This gesture was a public acknowledgement of the critical, yet often unspoken, contributions of those who served in secret during the war. Earlier this year, Princess Kate revealed in an emotional video message that she was undergoing treatment for cancer and would be stepping back from her public duties to focus on her health. This announcement was met with an outpouring of support and well wishes from the public, highlighting the deep affection and respect the nation holds for her. 
Despite her health challenges, Kate's involvement and interest in historical and charitable causes have remained unwavering. Her connection to her grandmother's legacy at Bletchley Park is one of the many ways she continues to honor her family's history and contribute to the nation's collective memory. The legacy of Bletchley Park and its operatives, including Valerie Glassborough and her sister Mary, is a story of dedication, secrecy, and groundbreaking intelligence work. The crack team at Bletchley Park, which included famed British mathematician Alan Turing, was tasked with intercepting and decoding enemy communications, breaking the German Enigma code, and significantly contributing to the Allied war effort. The Enigma machines used by German forces were complex devices that encrypted messages using a series of rotors and lights to swap letters around via an ever-changing code. The breakthrough in deciphering this code in 1941 by Bletchley Park's mathematicians was a turning point in the war, allowing the Allies to anticipate and counter German strategies effectively. Valerie Glassboro's work at Bletchley Park involved monitoring diplomatic traffic from secret listening stations. Her role, along with that of her colleagues, remained unknown to the public for decades due to the strict confidentiality surrounding their activities. The contributions of these ordinary, middle-class women were extraordinary, and their efforts helped change the course of the war. After the war, many of the women who worked at Bletchley Park did not pursue careers in intelligence. Out of the 9,000 people who served there, only 600 women continued with the fledgling GCHQ or other branches of the secret services. Valerie Glassboro was among those who chose a different path, marrying Peter Francis Middleton in 1946 and raising a family in the village of Adele, Yorkshire. The couple had four sons, Michael, Richard, Simon, and Nicholas. Michael, the eldest, is the father of Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge. The story of Valerie Glassboro's secretive and impactful service during the war is one that has deeply influenced her granddaughter, Kate, who continues to honor and preserve this legacy through her public work and personal tributes. Prince William's update on Princess Kate's health and his reflections on her family's wartime contributions at the D-Day anniversary event highlighted the intertwined nature of personal and historical narratives. Through their public roles, both Prince William and Princess Kate continue to honor the sacrifices and contributions of their ancestors, ensuring that the legacy of figures like Valerie Glassboro is remembered and celebrated. The D-Day anniversary event in Portsmouth was not just a commemoration of historical events, but also a reminder of the ongoing connections between past and present. As the royal family navigates personal challenges and public duties, their stories of service, sacrifice, and resilience continue to inspire and resonate with people across the nation and the world. Through her public appearances and personal tributes, Kate continues to shed light on the remarkable contributions of her grandmother and the other women of Bletchley Park, ensuring their stories are remembered and celebrated.